What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Chris Gillen. And just Chris Gillen Blau. Today is not yeah, today is National Chocolate Chip Cookie Day. We're gonna do chocolate chip cookies a little different. We're gonna do a little bit of regular cookies. We're gonna make a pizza cookie. And then I think we're gonna make a pizza kind of cake thing so we can cut into strips with a pizza cut. Today's video is going to be a little different. We're going to be doing a collaboration with Red Wine and Blue Mom. Her link is in the description. Her name's Tiffany. Her and Eric are trying for their second baby, so her channel is based a lot on that. Also about moms in the real world, not sugarcoating anything. So please go subscribe to her channel and uh, also let her know I sent you, okay? This is the collaboration for National Chocolate Chip Cookie Day. Let's get started, shall we? Let's bring this mixer into the bowl. In a large bowl or mixer, we out. are going to bring in, oh, gotta take off the cover. <laughs> we have a whisk because with chocolate chip cookies, you have to do this in order or it's all Mix, bleh. mix, mix. Mix, mix, mix. So we have our brown sugar here. Now the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add the sugar and the butter. So we have two kinds of sugar. We have brown sugar here, and then we got our white sugar here, which is granulated sugar. So now that we have the sugars, we have the brown sugar on the bottom, the white sugar on the top, and then we have our melted butter, we're going to pour this into here. And as this is a big heavy bowl, I want you to do this very carefully. Don't spill it, pour it all the way in. It's white and brown. The melted butter. Now, as you can see, this is quite a bit of butter. It's all melted. And the reason why is because I doubled the batch. We're gonna do a lot of cookies and one hit. Now what we're going to do is we're going to mix these until they're very creamy. Hold on, Connor. Wait, this is the thing. You have to go very slow with the mixer. Okay? Very slow. You pour it in one. And then you have to let it get incorporated so it doesn't splatter all over the pipe. Now we're going to add the eggs, vanilla, baking soda, and the salt. Okay, Jenna, put that in there. Where? Put it in the bowl. Okay. So Jenna's going to add the salt into the big bowl. That's all the salt we get. Connor is going to pour in the eggs into the batter or into the cream. Wow! And now that the eggs are in there, I'm just going to go ahead and close this up. Always okay. lock your mixers before you turn it on. Turn it on very low. Add our baking soda. Hang on. I'm going to do one. Then I'll do one. Connor's going to do this one. And then we're going to do vanilla. Okay? Baking soda's in. Okay, now we're going to add the vanilla. Tip. And tip. Now we have all the ingredients except for two. Those two chocolate. ingredients chocolate. are flour and chocolate chips. Okay. Now we have a lot of flour. And I'm actually going to change the, the tool here okay. from a whisk to a regular beater. So yeah. hang on. Since I just changed this out from a whisk to this, I'm going yeah. to push down all the mix so far just so I can make sure that everything gets incorporated. When it comes to adding your flour, you always... Hold on, boo. You have to take small portions at a time. Because if you go too fast, it will splatter splatter all over the place. So you just do a little bit at a time. Can I do one? Yes, you can. You all can do a few. Put all the flour mixed in. Get all that. We in. are going to take off. Oh, Ow. sorry, I just bumped you in the head. Me? Going to get all of the goodness off of this. Gonna add the bowl of chocolate chips. Come, Jenna, can you go get that bowl, please? Yeah. Whoa. One. Okay, I want you guys to see this. <laughs> Look how many chocolate chips are in this bowl. You can't <laughs> even see the dough. There's the dough. So let's get this mixed up and incorporated, and then we're gonna put it on can some cookie sheets. It? it looks like now. All the chocolate chips are incorporated into the dough. We have a lot of dough. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to put some on the cookie sheet. And on here. here, we're also gonna make a big giant cookie out of one, which is also called a cookie pizza. And uh, Hello. bear with us, we're just gonna speed through this real quick. Here's the giant cookie right there. Here is the cookie Rectangle. sheet. It's going to expand a little bit, so we'll have some room around the edges. Rectangle. Let's get this into the oven at 375, and I think the time, it doesn't really matter. We're just going to check it when it's done. Look at that giant cookie. All 
Okay. Right now, these are really hot. The outside of this rim isn't hot too bad. Right now, we got the big cookie right here. Cookie. And then we have the other one here cooling off. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to make the standard chocolate chip cookie shape. What you do is you get two spoons. You simply shape it into the size of a cookie or whatever it may be. And then you plop it onto the thing like that. Can you turn it into circles? So, there we go. Hang on, let me show you guys. Let me show them. This is what it's going to look like. It's not going to be so messy and sporadic. But we're going to fill up this tray and we're going to get right back to you after we cook some cookies. Here we go. While we wait for the other cookies to cook, that we just saw this tray up, and that was that was a lot of fun, wasn't it? We're going to take this pizza cutter and we're going to cut these into strips. So we're going to do simply like this. We're going to do it on top of the cooler, which probably isn't the best idea, but it looks like it's working for the yeah. most part. We do with pizza too. Oh, that's crooked. Ah. Good. See, if you can see right here, mm. these are the cuts I'm making. Oh, so what we have here is a giant cookie cut into strips like this. The strips like this make it so we can just dip it into our glasses and not have to worry about it. So everybody get one. We got a glass of milk. Let's go ahead and dip it. Go ahead and dip it in. See, fits right into the glass. Mm. Don't have to worry about it. Mm -hmm. Mommy. Mm -hmm. Mommy. Oh, there you go. Now while the kids enjoy this, I'm gonna take this giant cookie here and we're gonna cook it, cut it just like a pizza, just like that. Wow. Now if I had frosting or sprinkles or something ah. like that, you could take this, you could put frosting all over the top of it, you can make it into one of those pizza cookies, see? We have giant pizza cookie slices. These are really they good. Are, good. are really good. They look like pizza. <laughs> what we're gonna do is we're gonna come back, we're gonna show you the regular size cookies, and then after that we're gonna clean all this up and then maybe we'll get some of these away. Again, this is a collaboration with Red Wine and Blue Mom. Her link is in the description. Go follow her, go subscribe to her, follow all of her social medias. She does amazing work, amazing videos. She's trying to have another baby so she's going through all those steps she's educating people on what kind of things that have to be done or what kind of things she tracks so again go check her out description red wine blue mom tiffany in there and here's the finished product guys we have this perfect little cookie here that's hot let's what's use a spatula what'd you get here's what? a cookie right here it's perfect it's got that golden brown color we're just gonna put them onto this cooling rack right down here so these things can cool and then we're going to wrap this video up because believe it or not this isn't a little five minute video this is like or a ten minute video this is like an hour process if you could please go like share and subscribe Thank go, you. go subscribe to red wine and blue mom her link is in the description her picture is right here yeah. somewhere hopefully and until next time take care guys take care guys